we covered a lot already and this is like the core to just javascript in general and the truth is a lot of programming languages kind of act really similar to this but let's talk about something a little bit crazier which is like list craziness and that's just what i'll call this and with this you could have technically you can have an array b have values that aren't strings or numbers you can have their values be either an array or an object so you could technically do noob one noob two and let's log this just to see what happens and remember i have these variable declared up here they're not commented out yet so noob one noob two i now have an array where at index zero i have object nick with brown hair and at index one chris with black hair so we're even managing our code even more truth is with a lot of jquery stuff we're not gonna have to get too complex with this but this is kind of as far as far as you should probably take this and for good practice maybe what you could do is try to retrieve let's retrieve noob one's hair color and what we could do if we wanted to do that we could do console log we know it's noobs noob one is at index zero so we know it's at index zero so we're retrieving the first noob object so if i would save this and refresh we now have the object and now if i just wanted to get the hair color i could do the dot and we can do hair brown or if we wanted to get the name it's going to say nick so noob one is at index zero with name nick pretty neat and this right here is essentially the hardest part of understanding the syntax with javascript i would mess around with this if you can where maybe you want to let's uh let's actually comment all this out and repaste it where we can create an object called noobs instead and if we were going to get this value you could probably figure this out on your own by now if you've been following along and practicing but you know this is going to break we're getting error nothing can't figure out what the heck to do that's because we're trying to get an index that doesn't exist it's an object so it's a key so we need to do something like um we could say admin dev and now if we log noobs we now have a key value store of the noob so if we wanted to get the admin we would just do that we know it's nick and we can get his hair color just like that that's the syntax that's another great example i should probably just follow up with one last example where technically even if it's an array or an object doesn't matter the list item could be a and also be an array so we could do let's just do object demo is equal to an object that i'm going to create where we'll just really quickly copy and paste this and then we'll do a we'll do a array demo and i'll quickly copy and paste one of our array examples and now let's log noobs and just see what happens and you can see we now are going down this huge object here where we can see admins an object we have an array demo in there we have a dev and we also have an object demo in there all listed out so if we wanted to retrieve any of these we would have to figure out are we using zeros ones indexes or the dot notation to retrieve that value and that's how you kind of like you'll see a lot of big complicated objects like this in javascript so understanding how to retrieve info from here is really useful uh, you should probably also know you technically don't need these quotes here and i might have been doing it in the other examples but uh, I would say this is more the correct syntax for it uh, just to follow, but technically it doesn't matter because you can do these really weird things in 
JavaScript where maybe a key has a space or something, but you probably don't want to do that. All right, so that being said, that wraps up variables, lists, and objects. Continue forward. We'll show you how to do logic with this, and then we'll show you how to actually put stuff instead of in the console on the web page and uh, go from there.